Matt, you've just won 3 0 against an Hostel yeah. at Kimberley Stadium. How do you feel after that result? I feel absolutely brilliant. It's, uh, obviously, if football does that to you, it really does play on your emotions. Sometimes you have the darkest days when a defeat happens or maybe a draw last minute, whatever. But when you get victories like today, it's what we're in the business for. So, um, yeah, I um, feel you're really euphoric at the minute. How did you feel going to half time? So, us were 2 0 up. Yeah. There were plenty of chances to perhaps go further ahead. Did you feel nervous that perhaps an Oss will come back into it in the second half? Um, it was a little bit frustrating. I mean, when you know their manager walking off said the only positive we can take from that is that wasn't ten. So I think we were really dominant. We, we started really, really brightly first five, and then they took over a li- um, for about five or ten minutes, and then we had to weather a little bit of their pressure. But beyond that, um, we scored sort of two good team goals. And um, but we should have had you know, two or three more, and that's not being unkind to send off still. Yeah, we'd be expecting to put the chances away when we see them on the highlights. Um, you know, on another day we would normally put them away. So I think the message at half time was that uh, we don't need to go chasing the game. Uh, so yeah, we are, we're two 0 up, and two 0 is always a funny score in football because obviously if you get another one, the game's effectively over. If they get one, they're back in it. But the key thing was that um, you know we didn't need to go and take unnecessary risks in the second half. And that probably reflected our play, and we didn't have as many shooting opportunities second half. Um, but we, as you, we found out on Wednesday, you know, the longer the game goes on, if they're not scoring, they will then start taking more risks, which will then open them up a little bit more, and then you know they're more susceptible to counter attacks. And that's how we got our third goal um, towards the back end of the game. So, um, yeah, really pleased with uh, the scoreline and the outcome. I'm delighted with the clean sheet against a very good young Senostal team here today. Yeah. It was billed as probably the biggest game of the league so far. Yeah. It's, it just goes without saying, people have been saying that, we can't really help that. Yeah. How do you think this will affect the league going forward? How other teams perceive Saltash United? Do they, do they, does they think it uh, makes us look more threatening, like we're, we're going to be um, the forerunners? Or do you well, try to bury that a bit and just say, you know, it was a, a good result, a one-off? Uh, well, it's, hopefully it's not a one-off. You know, we, we intend to, to mount a serious title challenge this year. That's the trophy that we want. Um, I said that earlier to a guy on the radio, and we're not going to dress it up. You know, the, the cups have been great these last couple of years, but what we've built here now, we feel like we've built a team that's ready to go and challenge for a league title, and that's the one that we really want. Um, so today, um, leagues were never going to be won today, whether we won, whether they won, whether it was a draw, um, but it has laid down like a, a little marker, if you will. Um, but you know, as I said, we've beaten a very good side here today, who will go and take points. They've already done that. Uh, they beat Falmouth midweek, and they, they were going to take more points off some of the you know, the better sides in the league. Um, but it's a long season, there'll be twists and turns for everybody. Um, but from our perspective, you know, we're just delighted that we got the job done today. Mm. I hate to make you choose, but of the, the games you've had so far this season, who has been the standout so far? The game or? Uh, for, for the season so far. You've had four games. Game. You've also had the Charity Bowl, you've yeah. had the FA Cup games, so you've had six games. Have there only been, been any players who've really stood out to you so oh, far? Oh, the players? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I misunderstood. <laughs> yeah. um, We've had, we've been fortunate because we're scoring goals all over, and um, you know people look at our front two and they say, "Oh, Ryan Richards, Sam Hughes, one of the best partnerships in the league," which they are, okay. But we've got goals from all over the, the pitch, and, and and that's really helping our campaign this year. Um, but if I had to pick out individuals, uh, Danny Lewis has had a, a very good start to the season. Um, he slotted in either into midfield or into the back line for us, so he's done really well. Um, young Jamie Simmons is uh, sort of 17. He's taken his chance due to injury of other players, and he's come and scored a couple of big goals, created assists. He got a, he had a hand in the goal here today as well before he got injured. Um, so so them two in particular have done well. Um, Callum Martindale did well before he went on holiday. Dave Barker's come good. Uh, Tom Moxham, who's come in for Callum Martindale, has had an incredible three games with contributions in every game, whether it be assists or um, you know goals. And then obviously the, the front two are sticking him in the back of the net. Um, so yeah, it's a happy camp at the minute, and um, it's hard to you know pinpoint one player because it's been very much a team effort. And yeah, you know, I'm a firm believer that on a given day it will be one player that perhaps wins you the game. But over a season, you're going to need everybody to have yeah. an outstanding day. And already we've had a number of people that have done that. Yeah. Um, so you know, even like the young Sean Cleary, um, we had a young midfield today. We had Henry Wilson, sort of 21. I think Sean Cleary's 22, 23, and Jamie's 17. And they had a few youngsters as well, but. Um, we're not afraid to throw them in. If, you know, if we think they're good enough, they'll play. And if they earn, you know, if they earn the right to keep their shirt, they'll keep it. Mm-hmm. That's you, how we try you mentioned that. We've also had Sam Farron come back today. Yeah. Uh, you've got a few players out injured, but you've still got quite a lot of squad depth. There's a lot of yeah. players all competing for places. Does that yeah. push the club forward in a positive way? Commit to compete and really yeah, push for I, places? Yeah, I think it has to. I think it has to. And um, when I look back on 
you know, teams that have been here in the past and perhaps teams that I've played for when I was a player here. We've had some very good sides here, but what we didn't have was the commitment levels that are required to go on and do well. And if you want to be aspirational, you want to win trophies, you need people that are here every week. And, you know, I get it. We're at a time now where football's perhaps not a number one choice on a Saturday for everybody. Um, but those are the sort of commitment levels that we do desire here and the players are aware of that and if they can't deliver those commitment levels then they'll either find themselves out of the team or perhaps they won't be right for this environment and, and you know I believe that to be successful you need people that are here mm. um, so so you know the boys that are here at the minute are obviously um, doing very very well yeah. as um, shown in our results. And Chris, t Chris Menhenik told me just now the, uh, the morale in the dress room is uh, sky high and uh, really positive atmosphere overall yeah. and Let's hope it continues. Yeah, 100% so far after four games. Let's uh, on to the next game, which yeah, on to is the next game, Weybridge on Tuesday. So on to the next game. Um, you know, we'll enjoy tonight. It's important to celebrate the wins. Um, but obviously, after tonight, that game's gone now, and we look forward to Tuesday and then the Vars next Saturday as well. Look forward to seeing it. Cheers, mate. Cheers.